Welcome back to the Hit Squad, Chad Range, alongside Jesse Finney. And this segment brought to you by Metrogistics Vehicle Transportation Solutions Delivered. I've told you, if you're, if you're wanting to ship a car, look into metrogistics.com, M-E-T-R-O-G-I-S-T-I-C-S.com. Uh, if you're just looking to ship a car from here to there, we can definitely get you a quote. And if you're a dealership, I want to give Glendale Chrysler a little shout out. They've been using Metrogistics. We appreciate you. And hey, if you need a new uh, Chrysler, go check out Glendale. Also wanted to say we have shipped one of my first days was I got to call Tony LaRussa because we were shipping his car. And I was like, no way. And I had a cell phone. I called him up. And it's just totally Tony. The way, you know, hello? You know, the way he talks. And I was just like, ah! I locked up, I'll admit. But that's just, uh, you know, check us out. If you're transporting a car, Metrogistics Vehicle Transportation Solutions delivered. Speaking of delivering, Shamrock Fighting Championships delivering a nine-time, nine-time UFC vet. And is, is he training here in St. Louis, correct? He's training, living here in St. Louis. All right. High-level black belt, complete stud. Luigi Farbanti, right? Farivanti. Farivanti. Luigi Farivanti is going to be fighting in the Shamrock Fighting Championships on October 12th. Luigi, you there with us? Yes, sir. Thanks for being with us. Talk about how excited you are to have the opportunity to fight on a Shamrock uh, Fighting Championship card. No, I'm I'm really excited to fight for uh, you know Shamrock and uh, be on the card, um, you know, and uh, I, w I want to put on a great fight for the fans in St. Louis, and uh, you know I just want to uh, fight for a quality promotion like them. And, and Luigi, tell us about your experience and how you how you actually ended up in St. Louis and where you've came from, and a little bit about yourself. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm originally from Florida. Um, I came out to St. Louis to. Uh, you know, to uh, help out uh, at a martial arts, uh, another martial arts uh, facility. Uh, you know, things didn't work out there, so I ended up, uh, you know, s uh, splitting ways. And uh, you know, and uh, Jesse Finney was uh, kind enough to invite me to come train at, uh, you know, Finney's uh, in uh, Crestwood. And you know, and I like I like being there. You know, I like training with the the fighters there, and everybody's really nice. And uh, you know, I, I feel like I'm part of the team and stuff there. Luigi, talk about your experience in the UFC and going out there and fighting nine times and kind of, you know, how that's kind of, you know, made you into the fighter that you are today. Yeah, you know, it, it, was, it, it was a great experience, you know, and, uh, you know, I hope to get back to the UFC. Uh, you know, I think uh, in the past, you know, I was, uh, I was a little younger, you know, and, uh, and I, I learned a lot over the years fighting in different promotions around the world and fighting, you know, some of the, some of the best guys in the world, you know, at uh, – you know, two different weight classes, and, um, you know, now that I have experience and, uh, you know, I'm a little bit more mature and stuff, I think if, uh, you know, I get back there, it's, it's going to be a different story. Luigi, let me yeah. ask you something. If you have something to say to the guys that are coming up out there and you say you've learned a lot in the past, what are one of the, the – name me the top three things that you have learned. <laughs> Just, you know, you know, uh, you know, you know, don't – don't buy into the, you know a lot of the hype and stuff you know you know with friends and all that stuff you know around you because that that stuff doesn't matter you know just train hard train as hard as you can you know and and, and uh, you know make sure you know your your ground is 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 really good make sure your striking's good make sure everything's good you know you have to you have to train in everything you can't just come and show up for for sparring and and you got to do the things you don't like to do you know you have to drill you know you ha you have to you just have to train, you know, and if you want to be the best in the world, you got to, you know, either train with the best or train as much as you can so you can get there. Luigi Farabanti is going to be fighting in relentless October 12th for Shamrock Fighting Championships. Luigi, what are some of your strengths and what is something you're really working on to get better at? I'm, I'm, I'm constantly working on everything, you know. Um, the sport, you know, sport MMA is, is constantly evolving, you know, uh, I mean, you, you, you watch it now, you know, everybody's good on the ground. Everybody can wrestle. Everybody can strike, you know what I mean? So it's just you just got to train harder than, than the other guy. You know, that's what it comes down to. Um, me, personally, I like to stand and bang, you know. I, I like to go in there and try to finish the fight with my hands and try to get a knockout, you know. If, uh, if it goes to the ground, I'll look for a submission or I'll look to ground and pound. So I, I like to put on exciting fights. Um, I like to go for exciting finishes. And Luigi, on October 12th, what can you say to the fans of St. Louis that they come out to, to see you and what do you ex what, uh, what just, we expect? Just expect, you know, fireworks. You know, expect me to finish the fight uh, as fast as possible. You know, I'm looking to take somebody's head off. <laughs> I love it. That's good <laughs> stuff. And, and just, you know, real quick, 
So you fight in the Shamrock fight on October 12th. What is your road to get back to the UFC? How many fights do you see it taking you? And, you know, obviously, if you do take someone's head off, like you said, people will start to notice. How many fights away do you think you are from getting your chance again at the UFC? Well, you know, it, it, it just depends. Uh, you know, it depends on how the, how the fights how the fights go. You know, if if, if the promoters see what they you know see a, a, a fight that they like. I mean, if you notice that you know they're starting to look for uh, you know exciting finishes and stuff like that, then you know they're, you're, you're, they're, they'll definitely bring you aboard. You know, so I think after a couple fights, um, I don't you know I could see myself stepping back in there. Absolutely, very good. Well, we appreciate you taking time to come on here with no, us, no, Luigi. No problem. Thank you for uh, having me on the show. I really appreciate that. Thanks, Luigi. We look forward to seeing you fight on October 12th. And that's going to be happening relentless at Lumiere Casino. Get your tickets now, www.shamrockfc.com. They're going quick, and, I mean, we've said it all along. This is like the AAA for the UFC. This is an opportunity for this guy to kind of get his call back up. Right, and you don't get a chance to see a nine-time UFC yeah. veteran fighting right here. I mean, this is guy This guy will be back in the UFC. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And I got to tell you something. There's one thing about Luigi Veravanti, man. The guy loves to stand and bang. I absolutely like to watch him spar because the guy is vicious, man. He is... Uh, uh, and that's coming from a, from a black belt in right. Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Just speaking of jiu-jitsu in the last segment, Absolutely. Here, this the thing is, is that Luigi Veravanti wants to stand and bang. I mean, this is what the sport is came to. And I tell you something, you won't be disappointed if you come on and see Luigi Veravanti on October the 12th. Nine-time UFC vet, that will be great. Relentless. Again, tickets are going fast. I know you're sitting there thinking, well, it's August. They may not be around for too uh, the, much longer. The fifty dollars tickets have already sold out at, at ShamrockFC.com for Lumiere Casino. I mean, the tickets go to the things that people say, "Oh, I'll get them in a couple of weeks." Get them in a couple of weeks. Well, listen, the, the place seats under a thousand people, and you can get up and close if you want to see today's UFC star or today's today's stars become become stars in the UFC. You better come see them now. Absolutely. And one of the guys, uh, Adam Sella, he's going to fight on November first in Kansas City. That's great. Shamrock Fighting Championships. He's fighting up there on, on November the first at Harris casino. Uh, Adam's on his way back to the UFC, same as Luigi Veravanti. They're going to be on the short call list, man, where the UFC calls them and they got three four fights on a three four fight win streak and they say, hey, get ready because we're going to be calling you on, on short notice because someone gets hurt, you're going to be the guy that we're going to be looking for. And Adam, this is his second fight since the tough uh, Correct. fights. Yeah, and he's won, yeah, he won one and now, I mean, he gets his second one. I mean, he that gets call three, will be coming quick. Yeah, three or, three or four and he'll be back there pretty yeah, soon. Yeah, that's, that's great for him. And uh, December 7th, it's never too far ahead to think about but shamrock fighting championships are going to have an event at river city casino i've not been there but i hear the venues awesome, awesome. tickets go on sale september the 6th september the 6th the tickets go on sale for december Ooh, 7th yeah coming it's quick. coming up yeah, quick it's coming up quick i gotta tell you something and it's that venue is wonderful and i tell you what uh it has been a springboard for a number of fighters that you've dealt with uh the ultimate fighter tryouts now this is for next year Correct. Not for what we're going to be seeing here shortly. Correct. So yeah, it's uh, they don't they haven't announced the uh, coaches. Of course, this year coaches we had touched on an early segment with women making their presence felt. Actually, they're going to have women in the house, and Misha Tate and Ronda Rousey will be the coaches. Right, and they're going to have women and men in the house as well. <laughs> That'll be interesting. That will be. But they just had the new, the new tough tryouts. Yeah, uh, season eighteen hasn't happened yet. And it's never too early. Season 19, they're having the tryouts this week. They they were on Tuesday of this week, and there's there is um, quite a few St. Louis guys that were there. Um, stay tuned, folks. Yeah, That's well, all I, I will, can yeah, say. That, stay I mean, tuned because you know St. Louis has always been well represented in the past, and hopefully they'll be represented again this year. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see. It's going to feature middleweights and light heavyweights. Once again, no coaches have been announced, but uh, I, I hated to admit it. It. it hurt me to say i became a reality television junkie i've been i watched it it made for great television and on top of that you get some great fights absolutely you got guys that just pour their heart and souls because they you know what this is their chance to make it man it's not like they're already there they're trying to get there and they're they're young and hungry just like on october the 12th at lumiere casino these kids are young and hungry to try to get to the big show as well absolutely so we're going to be looking forward to that and we always want to hear what you have to say. Hit squad at 101sports.com. Twitter handle at hit squad 101 ESPN. Anything else on your mind, Jesse Finney? That's it. Go Cardinals. Go Cardinals. Let's keep it rolling, boys. That does it for us. Thanks for watching 101sports.com.